told me that plants thrived on challenge. They needed to adapt to both the climate and the environment. But now he's about to face up to a new challenge. Will he prove as adaptable as his beloved roses? We're taking you on a journey through breaking history. Herc's parties were like something you've never seen before. Had it not been for the B-Boys and B-Girls, hip hop would have never started. It's like overnight people stop, stop, stop. If I look back and think it was from one day to the other, it disappeared. There was no idea that it would ever come back. I'll also be finding out how breaking, also known as breakdancing, became one of the most exciting new events on the global stage. And now in Paris 24, we will have breaking being featured at the Olympics. I was very taken that there are people in Europe that are breaking. That blew my mind. We're we're breaking through. Someday, DMC. He's the 23-year-old Dutchman who's disrupting the established order in Formula One. And on this edition of Sport Today, we have an exclusive interview with Max Verstappen, who's looking to extend his lead over defending champion Lewis Hamilton at the British Grand Prix this weekend. Also on the way, imagine returning to play test rugby just three weeks after dislocating your shoulder. We'll get the latest as Alan Wynne-Jones heads out to South Africa to rejoin the Lions. All that and more with me, Mike Williams, in two minutes. BBC News with Neil Nunes. South Africa has announced a big increase in the number of troops to be deployed in response to widespread violence sparked by the jailing of the former President Jacob Zuma. has been the peril. Stories from the heart of Christ and desire for those in his kingdom. I'm John Hughes. This is the Bible for children too. A father gathers and sits with his children outside their home to tell them stories from God's word. Tonight, children, just before bedtime, We'll go to the story tree, and I will tell you about Samuel. Send us your thoughts by email to learnchinese at cri.com.cn. Coming up next, let's learn more about work, laodong, and also the International Workers' Day. See how it's observed in China. Don't go away, so you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Neil Honglin, joined by Tony. So, Tony, do you know anything about the International Workers' Day? Nope, nothing at all. Really? No. I thought it's an international holiday. I think it is too. You may be listening from your home, or you feel the safest. I want you to know that God is more powerful than any obstacle, any danger, or any threat that you may see. This is 
the voice of truth is English language transmission broadcasting from Ankara in the 49 meter band between 1830 and 1930 UTC on 5945 kHz to Europe. Between 2030 and 2130 UTC in the 31 meter band on 9875 kHz to South Asia and Australia. Between 2200 and 2300 UTC in the 31 meter band and on 9830 kHz to Europe, Eastern USA and Canada. And in the 19 meter band on 15520 kHz between 1630 and 1730 UTC to Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. The voice of Turkey is also being between 0300 and 0400 UTC in the 41 meter band and on 7275 kHz to Europe, the USA, Eastern Canada and Cuba. Between 0300 and 0400 UTC in the 49 meter band on 6165 kHz to Iraq, Syria, Iran and the Arabian Peninsula. You can listen to us over the Turkstar 3A and 4A satellites and on the internet at www.crt.net.cr through the Voice of Turkey link. Please note that transmissions broadcast between 2200 and 2300 UTC and between 0300 and 0400 UTC have been pre-recorded. Our email address is english.crt.net.cr. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. This is Ali Ibrahim Sarikaya from Voice of Turkey. Today, 15 of July 2021, you are listening to the news. Defeat of 2016, coup bits, common source of pride for Turkish nation. Informed debate and heated debate. Find out what's got China up. And join us for your roundtable discussion. You're listening to Round Table with myself, Kaya, Jerry Bright, Hoshan, and Bill Yip. Coming up, the world's largest plan is planetary. Oh, God, I can't do it. Listen to Radio Battles. to Radio Belarus. Every day we tell our listeners about the life of our country. If you have any comments or questions, please send them to 220029 Chirbone 34 Main Republic of Belarus. Our email address is radio underscore Belarus at the And on this broadcast of Johnny and Friends, um, Johnny better explain that to our listeners if you will. When I speak, I often uh, give a message like fires on home. Can I help me grow leaps and bounds using my wheelchair? Um, sometimes glorifying suffering. But I like to boast in my affliction, you know, my disability, so that people will see Jesus in my smile. And this is her point. Salmon, let report. Salmon at 1800 Zulu, wind 360 degrees, 3 knots. Wind varying between 240 degrees and 070 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Cloud 2 at 4,000 feet. Temperature 28 dew point 16. QNA 1022 low six. Copenhagen Castle. Left report. Copenhagen Castle at 1820 Zulu. Automated observation, wind 200 degrees, 13 knots. This is the most of Turkey's English language transmission, broadcasting from Ankara in the 49 meter band between 1830 and 1930 UTC on 5945 kHz to Europe. And now, TRT, what is Turkey Radio? Turkey Radio in English. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan will be visiting Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus on Monday. Let us examine these two passages of scripture and see whether there is any secret about the second coming in those passages. 
This doctrine has become very popular because many best-selling books have been written on it. And movies from Hollywood have been produced based on these verses of the Bible. And unfortunately, most of the people have believed it to be true but have not thoroughly examined the context of these Bible passages. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Vatican and World News. For more on these and other stories, we invite you to visit our web portal at www.vaticannews.va. You can also follow us on the Vatican News English section at Facebook page and through our Twitter account. Many thanks to our technicians in the studio. In the Vatican, I'm Christopher Wells. Please visit us at voanews.com or download our app. Via remote, I'm Diane Roberts, VOA News. This is African News Tonight. On the Voice of America. Hello, Africa. Welcome to VOA Africa. Thank you for joining us. I'm Elias Wahid in Washington. And here is what's coming up on African News tonight. 80 rescued victims have so far been allowed to return to their families. Authorities say the remaining 20 are being monitored and treated in a state hospital. That's Timothy Obiezu reporting on the rescue of 100 kidnapped victims in Nigeria. Details coming up. Also, Tanzania's opposition leader has been detained by police. And childhood vaccinations have lost years of gains because of the COVID-19 pandemic. These stories and more ahead on African News Tonight. We start with our top story, Tanzania's main opposition party, the Party for Democracy and Progress, also known as Chadema, says police have detained their leader, Freeman Mboe. You are tuned into the English Africa service of Vatican Radio. A South African farm will begin producing the Pfizer-BioNTech coronavirus vaccine next year, the first time that a shot will be produced in Africa. Repeating, Paris Orly, Metro Port, Paris Orly at 1800 Zulu, wind 050 degrees, 6 knots. Have okay, temperature 27 Dew point one four one zero one nine below six. Welcome to Ask the Doctor. In this series, we hope to enable parents and Africans to better help their children fight disease. 
Aansteken nu aan de hoofdpunten aan het radio nieuws. En rond al nieuwe coronabesmettingen in de raad van de At the house of God. In the group of people. That told us that there are spirit filled. But there's no overwhelming presence of Christ in victory over sin at work in their midst. They are just like anyone else. Satan's modern day scheme is to deceive people to think they are right with God when they're living in sin and, and living after the flesh. God warns them. There is no need for any of us to seek counselors or spiritual advisors or prophets to find out why we're having so much trouble. They knew what their trouble was. They knew it just as sure as there was a God in heaven. My name is Larry London on Border Crossings. We've got one more request. This comes from Danny Riston, who wrote in and said he wants to hear Pharrell Williams with Happy right here on Border Crossings. Thank you for listening to Border Crossings. Thank you so much for all your support. Happy Friday. We made it through another week together. We'll be back again coming up on Monday. And I hope you will join us starting at 1500 Universal. I'd like to thank our producers, Vince Bonner and Felicia Butler, for putting our show together. My name is Larry London. Have yourself a great and safe weekend. Please keep that face mask on and social distance. And be healthy. And I will see you again on Monday with more requests and dedications, which you send to us. And you can go to Facebook.com slash Larry London all weekend long and write me with your requests. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Border Crossings is heard on the BOA Global English Network. Le radio is the America. Are you attempting to threaten me? After we received this letter, I did a little digging for you. In the last quarter, we had over one million in cash. Suddenly, you're missing. Tell me, where did it go? This is serious. I can send you straight to jail. Now you take this favor and get out.
Heat of the Day on Radio Romania International. Listen to Red Parliament featuring Elena Ionescu and their newest love song, Only You. Of Radio Traffic Sunday. This is Radio Traffic Sunday. Via 3920 kilohertz. Met Nederlandse programma's. Gericht op heel Europa. Heel Europa. Nou, en daar is uh, niks over verloren voor. En uh, het draaien ook trouwens nog leuke muziek. Dus dat doen we ook nog op de 3920 kilohertz. Leuke muziek van uh, Neo K. Boes. Babuska. Oké, okay. je luistert naar Radio Classic Sunday op 3920 kHz. Leuk dat je luistert. Laat het even weten via het ontvangstformulier op radioclassicsunday.com. En ook daar, als je geïnteresseerd bent in radioontvangers en omtermers en alles wat met kotte golf te maken heeft. Kijk dan ook eventjes op de, op de column van René Kolenbronner, want die schrijft elke maand een, een artikel op onze website. En dat staat over, ja, over radio, over, over ontenners, ontvangers. Nou ja, laat maar weten wat jij erop wil hebben, want misschien dat René dat kan behandelen allemaal. Laudetur Jesus Christus, jetzt war es Jesus Christus, sie der Vatikanium. of Islam. We shall deal with the stories of conversion unto Islam of some people who were non-Muslim and from different parts of the world. They realize that Islam is the religion chosen by God to all mankind. They always remember and repeat what Allah the Almighty says in his holy book. Today, I have perfected your religion for you. And I have completed blessings upon you, and I have approved for you Islam as a religion. Allah has revealed the truth. New roots in the land of Islam. Roberto Blount from the Philippines. Son las ocho, las siete en Canarias. 24 horas. Radio Nacional de España. Sandra Urdín. Buenas tardes. Estamos pendientes de conocer los datos que nos deja el COVID en España las últimas 24 horas.
Lakewood, Pennsylvania, 15533. Remember, too, you can request a printed manuscript or an audio CD of this teaching, Faith That Act. We'd be happy to send one to you. Once again, the quickest way you can contact us is to send an email to mail at heraldsofhope.org or write to Sister Today, Box 3, Breezewood, Pennsylvania, 15533. And remember, you can request a free copy of this teaching, Faith That Acts. It's available in print or on an audio CD. And if you don't have a Bible and can't afford to buy one, you may ask us to send one to you. Now, friend, I urge you to tune in next week as we continue our study in the Gospel of John. In his teaching, don't you have a about God, the Son, his nature. And until then, keep looking for that blessed hope. Christian broadcast. Learn about a 2,000 year old electric battery on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. The revolutionary historians refer to the ages of man before the birth of Christ with terms like Moon Age, Iron Age, and Iron Age. It seems that man's metalworking technology was much more sophisticated than these men suggest. For more information, check with reliable sources, such as the WHK and Africa CDC. And remember to listen to POE for the latest news on COVID-19. That was a message in the public interest from POE Africa. My name is Benjamin Atomati, a member of the cricket team that won gold for Ghana in the African Games that happened in Morocco, Rabat, by listening to the same side of sports on the Voice of America. Benjamin Atomati is scheduled to run in three Olympic events for Team Ghana in Tokyo. Reporting by remote, I'm Joe Ramsey, VOA News. <laughs> African News Tonight and the Voice of America. Hello and welcome. Welcome to VOA Africa. Thank you for joining us on Yes, And here's what's coming up on African News Tonight. We believe that both MPs are victims of political reasons, which is designed to silence any critical voice and is demanding political reforms in human rights. That's Amnesty International spokesperson Robert Shibambu calling for the release of two Eswatini legislatures. Details coming up. Also, tribal clashes in Sudan's Cordoban state kills at least 20 people. These stories and more on African News tonight. But first, our top story. The Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, says the continent's death toll from COVID-19 has dropped 17% in the past month.
well, well. The phone is on. Hello, sir. Hey, I'm on radio. If I'm not going to rush the pilot, that's the thing. From the, uh, from the ocean. Yeah. Oh, sure. The Sucker Farm and the Roofers together. So, oh, buddy, they are on the radio. Welcome to the show. So, what? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Very special to our friends in Germany, France, Belgium, Sweden, England, Ireland, Netherlands, Denmark, and Norway. You big this way. 